So in that episode of Sunday Night, Henry Winkler mentioned a few different things that he experienced at school, and he described them as learning challenges. Now that's a term that's probably used more in the United States than it is here in Australia. Uh, terms we would tend to use are things like learning disability or learning disorder, or even learning difficulties. So what I'd like to do now is to deconstruct it for you. Um, very early in the piece, Henry Winkler said that he had difficulties at school with spelling, with writing, with reading and with doing maths. In fact, as far as the maths goes, he said he could never divide. Um, he could do some simple addition and subtraction, but that was the extent of it. So, to break it down and to clear up some confusion, I'm going to throw some technical terms at you. Hopefully that doesn't confuse you anymore. So, one of the, the first and the most prominent of the learning disorders or learning challenges that Henry experienced is what we would refer to as dis... and I'm deliberately changing pens here to break the word down for you. Now when you see dis in front of a word, D-Y-S, it generally means lack of or difficulty with and so uh, that's the prefix, and the root word here is lexia. Lexia simply means reading. So dyslexia is difficulties with reading. A lot of people say they've got dyslexia, or they think they've got dyslexia, because when they write, they sometimes write a B instead of a D. Now, if the trouble exists only in writing, it's not dyslexia. It's a different disorder also starting with dis, but this one's called dysgraphia, right? Graph, to write, difficulties writing. It's otherwise technically referred to as a disorder of written expression in the American uh, Psychiatric Association's Diagnostic and Statistical Manual. So Henry Winkler has both of these, dyslexia, difficulties reading, and dysgraphia, difficulties with writing. The third one he mentioned was the maths problem, and that one is referred to as dyscalculia, difficulty with calculating mathematical uh, sums, problems, etc. So these are the three primary learning difficulties that Henry Winkler mentioned that he had, and in fact they're the three most common of the learning disorders. There are many other types of learning disorders, but they're quite rare, and we're not going to go into them in this segment. It's estimated that about 4%, maybe 5% of school children experience one or more of these problems. When you think of it, that's a lot of children. Um, so thankfully these days, children get screened for these things fairly early on, so around the ages of 6 and 7. But there are a lot of adults out there who didn't have the, the fortune of having that screened and went through their entire schooling without uh, these disorders being recognised. So um, these are the, the conditions Henry Winkler mentioned. Stick with us for a little bit more in the next segment. <laughs>